Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting. Uh, I'm preparing another kind of like pop-up or moving thingy for my journals. Uh, I'm gonna be fussy cutting all these beautiful paper dolls. And I do have here prepared few uh, cards, which I will be using for creating frames for my paper dolls. Uh, some of my digitals, they need to be <laughs> created by hand. So today I'm gonna create with you those frames for my paper dolls and then some pop-up. I do have my paper dolls fussy cut out. Uh, I'm gonna first cut the pieces, which could be uh, like cabinet card frame uh, for these pictures. So like if I will imagine this can fit in the size of this one. And here I would say three, yeah, here three inches. Now for this lady, I need to cut out here uh, some window. For that, I will need to have a look in my dies. I think I will take Tim Holtz, those labels, dies, because they do have variety size. Uh, first, I'm going to cut the corners. I'm going to use my corner punch, because I don't like these sharp corners. I'm going to try this, this one. Yeah, yeah that's good. And before I will cut the window, I think I'm going to do some stamping. So first, of course, I'm going to use grungy stamps, these textures. And I'm going to do some uh, little stamping to add there a little bit of grunginess. Uh, I'm going to be using which ink? I think this rustic brown. I can give you a link for these stamps they are sold out so uh, sorry i can't give you any workable link i don't have any if i will find any i will place it in the description but they, these stamps are sold from any uh, websites i knew they had them before so just little stamping uh, i'm gonna also use I think spellbinders stamps. I'm gonna use this. This is Kaisercraft stamp with these dots, and they do make wonderful kind of like texture. I think uh, these are still for sale on Amazon. I do have it from Amazon, so I'm gonna have a look if. I will find the workable link. I will place it in the description below. But the, this stamp is, is brilliant as well. It gives such a beautiful, you know, those dots. So now I'm going to have a look on the dies. So Tim Holtz dies were too small. I need something that will make nice, beautiful opening uh, around my paper doll. Uh, this is die from... Um, tonic studio I think it does have the saying uh, this one was what was it, this one love from uh, yeah probably it does have beautiful dye of the tag I forgot to use it this one I think it's tonic studio or um, I think it's tonic studio dye I will have a look if I do have somewhere the packaging. I think I do have somewhere still packaging. So I'm going to be using that die and I will cut the window right here. So I do have cut it, the oval window and the lady fits there nicely. You know, she can be in the window. That's perfect. Um, I was thinking... This is kind of like too flat, you know, even if I will stamp on it something, it will be still kind of like boring. Mm, if I will say boring, I'm not sure how to say that. Yeah, kind of like boring. So I'm going to have a look into my 
embossing folders i think something like this could be really beautiful on that i'm gonna try to keep also the oval inside where it's supposed to be so um i will emboss a little bit of that as well i guess yeah here is number 28 and i think i'm gonna emboss it that this way so looks like this and it's immediately more interesting i can use this one somewhere with those scissors this is a very old tim holtz uh tim holtz folder embossing folder I'm not sure if that if it has somewhere number um 2011 2011 embossing folder beautiful one so i do have embossed effect uh, i do have cut out the window i'm gonna be using now uh, black ink and spellbinders stamps i found them on amazon i'm gonna have a look if uh, they are still for sale but i do have them from last year so maybe they are sold out as well i'm not sure i will have a look if i will find it i will put link down below i do have little stamping done and uh, i just noticed that uh, in the part of that embossing here uh, my cardstock got rip ripped for making the pop-up thingy workable this have to be strong and it, it has to be in one piece so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take piece of um, acetate back actually and the bucket back this with acetate back and i'm gonna cut the window here i do have double-sided tape on the back of this little window card uh, i'm gonna glue it on this acetate back so I do have a uh, acetate piece in that back and now uh, I'm gonna cut a little bit into that inside and then fussy cut out the window so I can slide this frame around my doll. I'm gonna cut this way and now with my scissors go all around. And yes I do have on the sides visible that acetate sheet but i think i made it on purpose because right now i'm gonna be using alcohol ink and i'm gonna ink this with my alcohol inks and i do have here this brownie alcohol ink from uh, octopus company that's what i bought on uh, amazon again <laughs> always shopping on amazon and this brownie color it's really beautiful so i'm gonna kind of tap 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 all around of my frame because there is that part of that acetate piece which i left there so it will even give a little bit more interest and i do have here can you see that uh, acetate sheet uh, it's peeking out all around and inside of my frame as well and i think it will looks amazing i'm gonna create a frame for each of my uh, little pieces kind of similar way i think here i will add a little bit of black ink on these embossed parts so once i will scan it it will be more vibrant i'm gonna create frames for each of these uh, cute little paper dolls and here i do have my little collection of frames and paper dolls uh, I just separate them just you know just for to show you <laughs> how beautiful it looks like right now uh, i'm gonna be having these as a digitals so you can find them uh, the link you can find in the description down below but you can always use your own pictures your own uh, photos fussy cut the images and uh can continue the same way like i did uh, these ovals here i actually fussy cut out uh, 
with my hands. I do have, yeah, I do have this where there, uh, the embossing folder did emboss this beautiful frame. So I did fussy cut out that inside and then I used that, you know, to trace the oval shape, but you can always, you know, fussy cut out first from some paper oval shape and then trace it, you know, uh, into your cardstock to create base for your cabinet cards. And now we will create something like this. <laughs> it's very easy to do and I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, I'm preparing those kind of like covers, these blue ones. I'm using just a simple file folder. This is what I bought here in UK. They do have on Amazon these uh, Q Connect uh, file folders for a really good price. I will put link down below for those who want to have a look uh, which size uh, I do have. So uh, I'm cutting pieces from this file folder. First, uh, I'm cutting the size how high these frames are. So here I'm gonna take some bigger frame. You do have the last three. And as I said, you can do four. Uh, you can do this with uh, your pictures, you know, your family, uh, family photos. Just cut out pe people from those pictures and make them moving in your frame. Like this. It's quite funny. It looks, <laughs> it looks awesome. And sorry for my finger. We do have new dog in the house, new boy, nearly two years old Labrador. He needed new family and we just fell in love with him. Chase? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Chase. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Unfortunately, he just don't recall yet and <laughs> he's walking. His walk on the leash, it's like a little disaster. He does react with other people and uh, especially other dogs. So this happened to me when I tried to stop the leash from, you know, when he tried to jump on two dogs. So I tried to pull him back and it was out, just burned my fingers. I couldn't move my hand yesterday, but today it's it's good. It's I'm getting there. So we do have a new dog. Uh, if you do have my Instagram or Facebook, you already probably saw his his face his name is chase and he is so loving boy really he is very loving boy kind of needy boy <laughs> but yeah he doesn't know how to walk on leash so we will need some trainer we will have to find some professional train trainer to help us to work through all this because i don't want to mess up with him you know i don't want him to get um depressed or scared because you know you know my english it can be a little bit confusing he's not a little puppy he is teenager like i mean dog teenager <laughs> so my pronunciation can be confusing i know that so he can be kind of like you know very confused of what i'm saying but he's trying and he's very clever, really. He is. He's catching really fast. So that's why I don't want to mess up. I want him to be happy dog. And he actually is. He's little princess. Not, not prince, but princess. <laughs> he's kind of softy when he's at home. <laughs> and my sons love him. We all love him. He's occupying my bed through the day, but through the night he's sleeping in his bed and we already had you know a night emergency when he didn't said that he needs to go out so we need to train him properly for everything i guess because i already clean our carpets three times and it's oh it's kind of like <laughs> not not expected from that that old dog So I'm gonna continue preparing these fold, uh, kind of like little folders for my frames, and I will show you how you can make all that movable thingy. So always take some cardstock, 
cut the cardstock nearly in the high of your frame then fold the cardstock around the frame the way that the frame will fit there nicely like this then cut the corners and you do have prepared cover for your photo frame i do have my little booklets prepared with those frames and the um the people 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 as a filling paper i'm gonna be using uh, pages which i have prepared for uh, nine by five journal so i'm gonna be using these papers uh, i do have here kind of like that other half from this one because i did use this paper on that first uh, folder so i'm gonna be using this uh, again to fill the paper under i mean uh, to create paper under this frame and also then to fill the sides uh, what i'm gonna do like my first thing i'm gonna fussy cut out those two labels and i will try to you know keep that rest of paper as much together as i can i do have my two labels here now i'm gonna uh, place my frame here and i need to fussy cut out piece which will have on the sides at least one quarter of inch of the paper something what i can fold so this could be perfect i can cut it right here and here and i will have the paper which i need so i'm gonna make a mark And my new dog is right behind my back. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want, Chase? Yeah, he's going to lie down. It's so funny to have, you know, to have dog at home again. It's very enjoyable. You never know what is happening. <laughs> okay, so I do have here that leftover. This should be big enough yeah i think that will be what i need so i'm gonna make a position here and see on both sides equal amount of the paper and i'm gonna make a mark for myself how big window is here and i'm gonna make marks here on the sides as well i'm gonna do stamping in there anyway so i don't mind if i will have there you know lines and drawings that's actually totally okay with me because i do stamp and draw all the time some kind of things <laughs> to my papers now what i need i need to cut the window here bigger than is this oval for that i'm gonna take a knife and cut around so i do have these two pieces so now here it's what i do have for this i do have two labels one frame this one and one a little frame with that oval i'm gonna fold this on half And I'm gonna fold him kind of ish on half and here it doesn't have to be exactly on half okay do not get stressed about if you do have perfect half of your photo 
it doesn't have to be exactly half So I do have folded this and my picture just got ripped off so I'm gonna place it on the side before um, yeah, well, I need to repair that that ripping part. So I'm gonna take another one. I think she can be here as well. I'm gonna fold her on half-ish. Gonna be more careful with these parts. Maybe scoring on scoring board would be perfect, actually. So I do have it folded on half. So I do have folded head on half. And now I'm going to fold the top this way. So you do have here and here, you do have folding kind of like 90 degrees, open it and now you need those folds, kind of make them more visible and push her here. Okay, so first make sure you do have it folded half, then fold the top on this side, make here kind of like 90 degrees, then open it and push these folds here and here, kind of like back and press the fold, that middle fold down. And that will make your perfect folding. Use something like bone folder or maybe scissors and or a ruler and burnish. And then try a few times. Like this. Make it work. Now you do have this. Fold it on half. You do have hair folded on half. You need to fold on half the frame as well. The insides together. These insides, sides together. Like this. Now I'm going to take this piece. Take my little frame. Can I have a look here? So I can place my double sided tape here and all the way there. I had to wrap up my finger uh, just because now I'm gonna be using with distressed inks and I don't want to get there, you know, any inks, anything. So now I can glue my frame into that backing paper. And I'm going to fold these sides so then I will know that it will fold nicely the way it should. And again I'm going to try it a few times. If is it folding, if is it holding together. So now you can take uh, some stamps, if you do have some texture stamps, take them. I'm gonna be using uh, these two and I'm gonna do some stamping.
Now I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take my little grungy uh, piece and I'm gonna have a look how high I should place it. Yeah, I think like this. Okay, I'm gonna place the glue and glue this piece down. I do have hit this a little piece, but before I will glue that, I do have those off cuts here. And I'm gonna be using those off cuts and fill that other rest of the paper somehow. So first, I'm gonna have a look how far I should go with my lady. So here, somewhere here I will have the frame. So somewhere here should go lady. Yeah. And I can make a mark, you know, just to make sure I know how far I should go. I'm gonna fold her the way she will be folded when this will be closed. And I'm gonna put the, the glue on both of these sides here and here. Now I do see here my mark. I'm gonna fold it so I know how far I should go. I'm gonna slide it there and close. And open. And if needs, just press it down. Press it in that fold. And hold it. Let it dry. Now I do have this one. Slide the frame behind your doll. Now here it's important to see where your frame is folded and where is this middle fold is. And make sure you are placing it there. That's why I do have these folded up. So place your folds on the same spot like are those underneath folds. And lay down. Glue it down. And here I will suggest to wait. Do not be too hurry to move your parts.
that was all my little inserts i hope you did enjoy it i hope you enjoyed also my showing uh, those little cute inserts go to try it with your photos with your uh, images i do believe this is lots of fun you can make it also as a birthday card or christmas card you know with all kinds of decorations around just play with it with that idea i do have a small announcement I do have on Amazon a little traveler's notepad. It's just a kind of like ivory color writing pages. A really simple little journal with a little writing here at the front and also cute little ideas here in the back. This is my copy, uh, which I ordered just to make sure that everything is the way I want. And uh, I'm still waiting for... You know approve uh, approval for this other one for crafters hopefully it will happen soon it somehow doesn't go well i already tried to you know uh, send uh, approval three times and uh, for some reason i don't know it just don't go well with this one but this it's already on amazon so for those who would like to support my creativity even more i'm gonna put links down below if uh, you will just copy name and place it to your uh, to your amazon you will find my little journal. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for visiting me. And thank you so much for spending your time with me. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> spend another time with my crazy dog. <laughs> He's so funny, really. He's so cute. He's not trained well, but <laughs> we will get there eventually, one day. <laughs> so thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Take care of yourself. And I will come back soon. Bye.